Hello genealogists, it's Craig again with Just Genealogy. Embarrassing moment number 347. So yesterday I had the opportunity to talk to you about a question that came to me about locating sailors on the USS Constitution. And I went down that path and showed you how you could find sailors on the USS Constitution. But it appears there was a problem. So this is my oops moment, the USS Constitution, part two. Remember, whenever you have the name of a ship, you italicize the name of the ship, but not the prefix. So you may remember, because it was just yesterday, that the question was, I have my own personal question for Stump Craig. Where can I find lists of sailors or others that served on the USS Constitution Old Ironsides? Any ideas? Thanks. Well, I got to thinking, and I determined that, whoops, I forgot about the or others. What do I really want to find? And this is one of the problems when you have a question that has more than one thing in it. Because I should have been looking for two things, and I only focused on one. And now, today, I'm going to focus on the other one. Where do you find the names of others aboard ship? Well, first you have to ask yourself the question, are, who are the others on the USS Constitution? Well, we covered all of the Navy people yesterday. Who's left? Well, my guess is the United States Marine Corps. There are Marine Corps detachments aboard ships, if they're large enough. And even back in the day, they had Marines aboard ships. After all, that's what Marines do. So, here's a piece of Constitution USS Constitution and Marine Corps art that's available on Amazon from Yellowbird Art and Design Store that I just happened to come across today to make the point that there are Marines on the USS Constitution. So, where do I find names of Marines aboard ships? I find them in muster rolls. And where are those muster rolls? In the National Archives. So, we go back to step one in regards to what we worked through yesterday what years, Naval History and Heritage Command, we did this yesterday, Constitution on Navy History and Heritage Command, Constitution on Wikipedia, reminded 1797 is a year that we should think about, the beginning. So then we have to analyze our research strategy to determine what can be accomplished outside the archives. So we start with Ancestry. That's where I normally start only because I have a subscription. If I didn't have a subscription, I would start with Family Search. But anyway, United States Marine Corps muster rolls, 1798 to 1958. Oorah. So, therefore, this is where we're going to find them. But I don't like to do that because if I rely on one place alone to get something, it never fails that the place I pick has the crummiest resolution in the th stuff. So I want to look around some more. Are they on Fold 3? Well, there's some Marine Corps stuff out there, but no muster rolls. Family search? Well, there are United States muster rolls in Marine Corps 1798 to 1937. And so I read, and it tells me that there's some mic a couple of microfilm publications that this is not complete and learn more and all that kind of stuff. So wait a minute. 269,148 images. Let's go back here to Ancestry. 30,889,899,306 images. That's a discrepancy. So I've got, got to figure that one out. And it does say that those from T977 are not complete in this publication. So I know that they have an incomplete thing. So now I'm going to do what I do. I Google it, see if there's somewhere else. And this takes me to archives.gov where I can read about Marine Corps muster rolls. But unlike yesterday, where they told me what the muster roll numbers were, here they didn't. So that's frustrating. So what should I do if I need microfilm numbers? Because obviously I know from Family Search, and I also know from my experience with Ancestry, 
that there have to be microfilm numbers somewhere. And Family Search has given me the microfilm numbers, but I still want to have a look. So I go to the microfilm catalog. I just type in Marine Corps to see what they have. So they tell me that there are T977, which Family Search told me about, and T1118. So T977 is, let's blow it up a little bit, is Marine Corps muster rolls 1893-1940. And T118 is muster rolls United States Marine Corps 1798-1892. So it really all depends on what I want to look at. But now I know what microfilm publications they are. I'm going to go out to the partners website, which I usually do, and there at archives.gov, type in partners in the search screen, and it gives me a list of things that don't help me. So backing up to the microfilm catalog, I lo look at where it's at and also view important publication details. And for T1118, that takes me to muster rolls of Marine Corps 1798 to 1892, and I see that they're in date order. So knowing that I'm looking for the Constitution isn't going to help me, but knowing that what I'm looking for is probably on roll one might be helpful. But other than that, not much help. In other words, I can't get to the ship this way in order to determine what roll number it's on. I have to deal with date. Going back to the other one, it is only located in Archives 1. And when I look at that, box list, it tells me that it's 1893 and 1940, and there by date also. So that's not going to be any help to me. In regards to specifically honing in on the Constitution, I'm just going to go look at a date. I'm also going to go out to WorldCat to see what I can find, and basically I don't have it close to me anywhere on the microfilm, so I'm pretty much going to be stuck with Ancestry. Now what really confuses me is Ancestry says they have them until 1958. And the microfilm rolls that we have don't go that far. So it's going to be interesting. I'm going to have to check that out and figure that out and see where they got those later rolls from. Maybe they filmed them. But anyway, don't focus, Craig. Focus. Remember the question. Remember the question. So let's go look on Ancestry. And here is a muster roll from the USS Constitution from the 1800s. So, we now know that there is a muster roll beginning in the 1800s. I actually think this one is 1800. I didn't see any earlier than that. And they go all the way to 1933. I did check that out. I don't see any for the Constitution past 1933. So, what I've provided, the person who asked the question now, is the opportunity to have an almost infinite number of names of Marine Corps people who are on the USS Constitution. So where are those records located? They're ro located in Archives 1 in Washington, D.C., in the microfilm reading room. They're located on Ancestry, and they're located on Family Search. Much easier to find than the Navy records, I gotta say. So this is Craig at Just Genealogy, trying to clear up a oops before he has to go into corrections mode. So we now dealt with the USS Constitution in two different sessions, once for the Navy and once for the Marine Corps. If you can think of somebody else who was on the USS Constitution that the government would have created a record for, I'd love to hear about it so I can go search those out too. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. Don't forget to click the notification button. Like it if you do, like it if you don't. No, don't like it if you don't. Anyway, this is Craig with Just Genealogy, signing off for another day, and I'll see you at noon tomorrow. Bye.